Kim's vagina, which reminds me, Kim Kardashian's here. She's had a lot of black men celebrate in her end zone. Kim, word of advice, close your legs. You have more public beef than Kendrick and Drake. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Netflix. You have more public beef than Kendrick and Drake. Yes, villagers, this is how we're going to start this video. Welcome back. So, I know this channel is not about reaction. It's not about music. But you have to remember, I am a truth seeker. I am a free thinker. And I am an advocate for people that do something good for our village. And that is what K-Dot did. I'll tell more what he did at the end of this video. But you have to remember, if a person is going to feed an entire village, we have to recognize that person. K-Dot did that. What did he do? I'll tell you in a little bit. But we have to talk about Not Like Us. This song is amazing. It's a diss track. Right now, what I'm making this video is currently at about 26 million views and is trending number one in the music chart. And the thing about this track is that the more dirt you know about your opponent, the better your diss track is going to come out. But most of the time, a diss track is not a banger. But like, oh man, but not like us, it's a freaking banger because when I drive around, you know, our block, I hear people you know, bobbing their head to this soundtrack and it's bringing back such a refreshing West Coast theme because Mustard's on the track, Mustard's on the beat, yo. Hey, uh, but, but, but we're going to listen to Not Like Us and then after that, I'll share with you what are my favorite bars, my favorite lines, and we're going to dive deep into what it means. But like I said, villagers, I am not a reaction channel and I may miss a couple of things. If I miss a couple of things, please let me know in the comment section because I would love to learn um, the deeper meanings behind K dot lyrics. And if if you know that what I don't know, share it because more people will watch this video and they're gonna want to learn from you. So let's go ahead and uh, kick off this track because this is some fire. Some fire. Here we go. Sweet chin music and I won't pass the ox. Hey, how many stock 
stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay, devil is a lie, he a 69 god. Ay, freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside. Ay, roll your ass up like a fresh pack of zombies. Ay, city is back up, it's a must, we outside. Ay. Fire. Wow. They not like us. 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 Once upon a time, all of us will send chains. Mm. And we still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Barrel with me for a second, let me put y'all on game. The settlers will choose a town folk to make them richer. Fast forward, 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you, this the real nigga challenge. You call up future when you didn't see the club. Hey, what? Little baby, help you get your lingo up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Fell up, you feel like you a slime in your head. Hey, what? Craigle said you could be from north side Bye. Chain say you good but he lied you run to atlanta when you need a few dollars no you not a colleague you a fucking colonizer the family matter ain't the truth for the matter here was god's plan to show y'all the liar mm. Mm -hmm. he a fan he a fan he a fan mm. he a fan he a fan he a freaky ass nigga he a 69 god freaky ass nigga he a 69 god hey 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 run for your life Hey, 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 run for your life. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Let me hear you say, oh, be ho. Say, oh, be ho. Then step this way, step that way. Then step this way, step that way. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Then step this way, step that way, then step this way, step that way. Wow. Woo! Fire. Oh, man. That is what we call a diss track. My goodness. Wow, my heart was bumping. Uh, I know I can't dance, villagers. I know... Um, but man, the, 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 the beat, um, the, the music, the, the, the dissing, everything, it meshed up, it meshed up so well that it got my body, you know, the music just took control. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the hip hop, the rap, the diss game. And when I heard this, man, I, I thank you, K-Dot, for allowing me to live again, man, uh, you know, all this all the couple of years have been chaotic in the United States, especially. But music brings the world together. And that's what K-Dot did. Uh, you can deny it all you want, but you have to give K-Dot his flowers, man. That this, this track is, in my humble opinion, the best I've heard. It's fun. It's refreshing. It bob. And it, 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 it's freaking awesome. Now, let's go ahead and dive in some of my favorite bars, lines, and we're going to you know, explain what it means and whatnot. I could be wrong, but you have to let me know what you guys think. So let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit. I'll bring this up too, because, you know, this channel, we talk about information, fact check everything. So that way you are not giving wrong information. So if you guys take a look at this, you know, this, the uh, Kendrick Lamar versus Drake, uh, it's been happening for a while because a bunch of people diss Drake and then Drake diss you know, Kendrick and then J. Cole oh, dissed Kendrick and then he backtracked the next day. So number one, you know, uh, we don't trust you. That's a, fe a future dissing Drake. Number two, like that, Kendrick dissing Drake. And then number three, seven minute drill. That's when J. Cole dissed Kendrick. But J. Cole, he's a smart, he's a smart dude. Uh, you know, there was a couple memes that said, where is he? He's probably at the beach. Just loving life. You don't have to deal with such heat in the kitchen. We'll talk about more of that in a little bit. And then number four, show of hands, you know, uh, ASAP. Dissing Drake. And then Drake came back with push-ups. Uh, Drake dissing various artists, a bunch of artists in there. And then Rick Ross is not happy with Drake. So he dissed Drake. Champagne moment. Uh, and then not like us. That's one of my favorite ones out of this whole list. We'll talk about more in a little bit. That's when Kendrick this Drake and I meet the Grams too man um meet the Grams was, was the first one I listened to and it shit blew my mind of course there's a few haters that saying oh you know uh, it, it doesn't um 
drawing you in. But when I listen to K Dot, I listen to his lyrics and his delivery and his flow, his flow style. It, it's very addictive. And for a while, you know, I forgot how good K Dot uh, uh, was. And then when I this this beef, all this, and then I start listening to him again. And plus the YouTube algorithm, they're crazy, bro. Because after I listened to five or six of his disses, YouTube algorithms start pumping in his old stuff. Let me know in the comment section if that happened to you guys too. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, YouTube. But you guys are crazy with that algorithm. It start giving me uh, K-Dot old music. And I listened to all, all over again. And it helped me. It gave me such great appreciation. It, it's wonderful. K-Dot is crazy. But, and then uh, Drake came out with Family Matters. That wasn't bad. But... Uh, you know, uh, when K Dot heard that, he's like, you know what? Play time's over. One, two, three, four, five, plus five, ten. K Dot's not playing around. He's about to bury somebody. Knock on wood. Don't want to jinx it. Uh, anything like that. And then, uh, you know, and then after K Dot went crazy, Drake came out with the hard part six. I think that's the weakest, uh, the weakest uh, retaliations from uh, Drake. It, it, it the, the 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 tone of that diss track. Um, uh, it's very monotone and it sounds like he's grasping for air. He's not fighting back, you know, like, let's say you go 10 round, you know, 10 round in a boxing match. This is probably the seventh round, sixth round. And then Drake is throwing in the white towel already. Okay? It, it maybe let me know in the comment section. You guys feel differently about the hard part six, but just for me, when I listen to it, uh, the energy is not there. Uh, so, you know, not like us completely destroy Drake. And that's just my humble opinion. And of course, number 11, Euphoria, Kendrick dissing Drake. And then 616 in LA, Kendrick uh, dissing Drake again. And then Taylor made freestyle. That's when Drake dissed a bunch of artists. Um, I listened to four or five of uh, Kendrick Lamar diss. And man, it's, it's wonderful. I'm going back to listen to it again. But that is what all the, the whole 13, you know, this is that um, I stumble upon. I want to share that with you. Let me know which one you've listened to already. If you've listened to all of it. Let me know which one is your favorite. So now we'll jump to what are my favorite uh, lies and bars. Man, the first one. Why are you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Okay, so why are you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? So if you remember... You know, uh, when they dissed each other back and forth, what happened? Uh, Drake, he went on to social media, his Instagram. He stopped posting about, you know, aiming towards uh, Kendrick's fiance. And he say, hey, man, that kid may not be yours. You know, it's Dave Freeze. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So in that uh, Family Matters, Drake was like, uh, he mentioned something, uh, you know, I heard that one of them little kids might be day freeze. So when he did that, it's like a, a an A minor, an A minor piano chord, you know? And that's the thing about this line. It just blew my mind because Kendrick, how in the world he retaliate and he was able to do the exact same chord. And that's just crazy because, I'm sorry, I, I, I love lyrics. Uh, I may talk a lot, but I, I'm a huge fan of lyrics. And when I read that, that shit only is funny. It punched Drake right in the face. And it, it just, uh, uh, words. It, it, it's so crazy because uh, triple on, on, entre, uh, I might pronounce that word uh, incorrectly as well too. I, I, I apologize. I get real excited for this one. You know, so trying to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. So he's saying, hey Drake, you know, you try to stir up beef. You try to stir up emotion that's going to hit me in the heart. You know, trying to, you know, strike a chord, that's what he means. When you're striking a chord to somebody, you're trying to get them to react. Like, it's like you're poking a sleeping bear. And that's what Drake did. And Drake Fafo fucked around and found out. And it's probably A minor. Oh my God, you're trying to strike a chord. You know, you're trying so hard, but you ain't doing shit. And it's probably A minor. A minor, get it? It's a music chord. Uh, it's, I believe it's A, C, and E. And the thing about the A minor is that there's no black keys. It, it, it's all white keys. So he's saying, hey man, it's probably A minor, meaning, you know, you're dealing with minors, you know, A minor, you know, because minors are easier to get. 
That's what he's saying, you know. There's a bunch of meanings in this one. It can go like 10 billion way. But A minor, he's saying, hey, man, you try to extract something, get me, you know, get me acting to whatever that you want me to act toward. You probably gonna get it, but it's gonna, it's not gonna face me because it's a, it's A minor, you know. It's the easiest, uh, uh, it's the easiest chord to play on the piano. You, you, you're, you're out of my, you're out of. Uh, my league, I am in, in major league and you're in A minor, you know, in the minor league. And when I heard that, that thing blew my mind because, wow, how can you write? It responds so quickly. But then again, we're dealing with K-Dot. K-Dot don't play around. So all that, you know, um, different ter uh, definition of A minor and how he's attacking uh, uh, Drake because, you know, Drake been uh, allegedly been hanging around or talking to minors and telling them, oh, you know, I'll wait until you're 18, blah, blah. You know, there's videos and there's footage. I'm not saying he is a pedo, but he didn't really reply. Uh, he, his reply was, oh, I'm rich, I'm famous, so therefore I cannot be. I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. And then another one, villagers, man. Um, <laughs> I'm finding a pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. Oh my God! When I heard that, I started jumping up and down because. So what he's saying that you know I'm about to. So fina, you know fina. It, it's another. It's a slang term for I'm about to. I'm about to pass on this body. He's passing. You know John Stockton. He holds the record for the most assists. I think it's like sixteen billion exaggeration. Sixteen thousand around there. I could be off. Maybe like fifteen thousand eight hundred something. But he's he he's in the hall. He's a hall of famer. He's elite, notorious for passing the ball. You won't guess what was why he picked John Stockton. Yes, John Stockton. You know he you know pass bodies. John Stockton played with Karl Malone. Check this out. <laughs> oh God! What happened to Karl Malone? He got a thirteen years old girl pregnant. Ay! You see that he's you poke a bear, a bear gonna wake up and a bear's gonna attack ferociously and that's what K-Dot did when I read that I was like oh my gosh he's buried coffin don't need ocean no retaliation and, and and that's a crazy part because whatever you post on uh Twitter it's gonna stay there so you know look look at that you know <laughs> we started from the bottom now we're here at Drake Carl Malone you cannot make this up this is gold and because of that, that bar is even more sweeter, man. That thing is crazy. My next favorite one, but before I continue, let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite line and your reason why? Because I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm gonna go back and read every single one and I'm gonna giggle and laugh because I'm having a blast making this video because of K-Dot Music. He made me love hip hop, love dissing, uh, love rap, love everything about music because music bring people together. The last couple years, four years, it's been brutal. Next one, it's gonna be fun. How many stocks do I really have in stock? I one, two, three, four, five plus five. I he about to bury. Uh, he is about to bury uh, Drake. He have ten, so he only released released five of them. Ah oh, man, if I remember correctly, the first one is what uh, like that in March, March twenty second. Euphoria, April 30th, and then 616 in LA, May 3rd, and then May 3rd again, meet the Grams, and then he, boom, bap, 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 punch, not like us, May 4th. So when all these, all these things happening, the reaction community, they were eating, they were eating. We're talking about videos after videos going viral. Yes, I, I watched about 50 reaction videos, guilty. Let me know in the comment section how many videos that you watch because I watch, yeah, about 50 of them. Uh, I, I like, you know, to boost the algorithm for all the reaction community because, man, the village got fed by K-Dot. We'll talk more about it in a little bit. But that's the five. That's the five, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, plus five. Five plus five, that's ten. You get it? Ten. Stop. Ten. Stop. Ten. Ah! The, the lyrics. Oh, shit. That's freaking awesome, man. K Dot. Um, and that's the thing about K Dot because I know he write these things, so that's just you know a, a mind of a genius. And 
I'm not sure if Drake wrote all of his lines, lyrics, but if he is, kudos to you too, Drake. You didn't do that bad. But if there's have, have to choose between uh, K Dot and and Drake, K Dot destroy Drake. No question about it. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think, cause I want to read it too. And and that's the crazy part, cause his bars, man, they have like multiple meanings, and you have to really dive into it to understand. And that's the beauty of uh, you know people that can write good lyrics. And uh, this one is my other line too. And you you have to. I am biased when it comes to Tupac, and I don't like it when, you know, uh, you wouldn't... Tupac is a legend. Uh, Tupac is a very big figure in my life because I grew up without my father, so I listened to a lot of Tupac music, and he shaped me uh, into a positive direction. You know, respect women, take care of your village, take care of your community, uh, think twice when you're dealing with politicians because they lie. All that stuff I learned from Tupac. And... He's in heaven. Rest in peace, brother. Uh, but you shouldn't bring Tupac into your beef. Drake brought Tupac into his beef. Drake used an AI voice of Tupac to make a diss toward Kendrick. And that's disrespect. Because number one, you do, you're not doing it yourself. Number two, you're using a legend to diss on somebody that that person considered Tupac to be, you know, his, 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 his idol. That's dumb. You poke a bear, you can get owned. So the, this part is said, and your homeboy needs subpoena, that predator move in flocks. Here we go, still punching with all that predator, pedophile stuff. That name gotta be registered and place a neighborhood watch. Oh my gosh, a neighborhood watch, that is the picture of uh, Drake mentioned, and there's like 13 or 12 of that, that little red uh, symbol, that's not a uh, Google map. That is when you have to be registered because you are a pedophile, you committed a crime against children, against, you know, you don't play with that because when you do that, you have to be registered so people know the kind of shit that you do. And fun fact, the woke culture, they about to override that. So they don't want to put these pedophile uh, life at risk. They're protecting pedophile over innocent children. That's crazy, right? That's just fun fact. I'm just throwing out there, not part of the video. And I continue, you know, I lean on you like another line of walk. Uh, walk hard? It's a company that make cough syrup. So when you, you don't know what lean is. Lean, that, that's, that's two meaning. You lean on, you know, like you lean on, uh, on, on you. Uh, and then, uh, um, but lean is, is, is when you mix cough syrup with Sprite. That's actually the best flavor. And in the Bay Area, West Coast, you mix it up, you sip, 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 and you chill. Usually you add that with a blunt and you inhale the bullshit, exhales gratitude. That's the mind of, you know, West Coast. We just want to chill, lay back with some lean and uh, blunt, and we just inhale the bullshit, exhales gratitude. That's West Coast mentality. So that's what, you know, uh, K-Dot is saying, you know, I lean on you like another line of walk. So that's, 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 that's lyrics, that's lyrics. Yeah, it's all life on me, and I'm sending it up to pop. I all eyes on me is one of Tupac uh, album. One of my favorite albums from Tupac, I do have that uh, CD uh, somewhere in my garage, but you no know, all eyes on me. I'm gonna send it up. Respect to the older homies, respect, respect to a legend. Send it up Tupac, he's in heaven. He gonna, all eyes on me. I'll handle this, Pac, I'll handle this. You know, uh, somebody poked me, brought you into this beef. I'm gonna handle it, I'll send it up to you so you can watch and be proud of what I stand on. That's respect. K dot respect and man that, that's that's the beautiful thing I keep saying I love the lyrics is because I do love the lyrics you know let me know in the comment section which is your favorite from uh, which track which disc and I'm gonna listen to it you know but right now I'm talking about not like us because I've been yeah bump it morning lunch breakfast midnight whatever I'm bumping that song and it's freaking awesome the next one is said uh, say Drake I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to cell block one. So when you get caught, you know, doing bad shit to children and you go to jail, and you go to uh, cell block one, you're fucked. Yeah, they don't, they don't um, mess around uh, in jail. 
Uh, you probably get stabbed. Yeah, you probably get stabbed and killed. Um, or they want to stab you to the point where you're like 90% dead and then you healed up and you go back again. Then you get stabbed again. Uh, because cell block one, they don't play around, especially when it comes to hurting children, hurting uh, women. So yeah, uh, you better not ever go to cell block one for getting caught up in uh, hurting children and, uh, uh, and uh, ladies. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. So, you know, Drake, you know, he sing, he rap, he have that, that beer. And uh, for some ladies, it's appealing. You know, they love that. They're so mad in love with him. Uh, but, you know, do your thing. But you have to remember, hide your little sisters from him. Because why? Pedal. 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 Allegedly. I, I, just, I just love that. You know, I find that funny. Uh, the next one, that wop, 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 bobble, man. That thing is like a hit because if I remember correctly, um, Sexy Red, or is it? Yeah, Sexy Red, uh, she had a relationship with uh, uh, with Drake as well too. Sexy Red, they, the song go bow, 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 F, uh, F my baby daddy or something like that. Horrible song, by the way. Uh, but, you know, he's taking that and saying, hey, you know what? Wop, 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 I can make hit, I can make hit too, and still diss you and everybody, and that's K-Dot, you know, and wop, 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 dot, fuck him up, it's like Tupac, hit him up, when Tupac came out with that diss, uh, you know, at everybody, because they keep on poking him, so he, you know, he came back and he's like, shoo him up, you know, shoo him up, respect to the older homies, to the OG, wop, 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 I'm doing my stuff, you know, the boogeyman is gonna come out and he gonna, he's gonna torch. And that's what K-Dot did. So I had to give that, you know, that guy, uh, it, it's, it's maybe simple for you, but I really like what he did, that wop, 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 wop. Like I was dancing, it, it's, it's wonderful. And last but not least, man, uh, this is simple, the chorus. I had to tell, talk about the chorus today. As you can see, I talked a lot, but I appreciate music and because of K-Dot, it, he just made me love music more than ever because, dude, the lyrics is there, the storytelling is there, the diss is there, and the beat, man, DJ Musta, Musta on the beat, yo, e. So the chorus, like, what, what, what was the chorus? You guys remember? They not like us. 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 So when it comes to West Coast music, sometimes the the the, the chorus is very simple, but once you sing it, it gets stuck in, in the listener head right away. And that got stuck in my head. And it brought back such wonderful memories because, man, I get goosebumps talking about it. The, the West Coast vibe, the West Coast music, and the West Coast stand for originality. Uh, you know, they're not like us. You do you, Drake. You have your circle of friends, but you can never be like us. They're not like us. We do us. We stand on our ground. You do you. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Oh my gosh. Freaking beautiful. So with that, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I appreciate you villagers. So we have to talk about what did K-Dot do? What did he do to make him be in our recognition video. He fed the whole freaking village because he removed the copyright from all his diss tracks. That means everybody and their mamas talk about him, listen to his music, will not get hit with copyright. He just fed, he just fed a whole freaking village. And I'm talking about people making mad money. Uh, six figure, six figure because of K-Dot. Tell me again, why shouldn't I recognize Kendrick Lamar? Why? See? Dude, he fed a whole freaking village. I haven't heard anybody in the mamas did what K-Dot just did. Millions. People made millions of dollars for his reaction. That is a beautiful thing. So Kendrick Lamar, you probably will never watch this video, but if you stumble upon this video, thank you. You for real, for real, for doing that. So, you know, you do what you do. You stand on it because they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. And that's crazy because everyone made money and they won't get hit with copyright. You keep everything. You put in the work, you put in the time, the effort, and you react to his video, you talk about his video, whatever it is, you get to keep your bread. And that is why Kendrick is the GOAT. 
It's non-negotiable. End up there. What happened to J. Cole? After J. Cole made a diss track, you know, um, seven minute drill, and the next day he came out and said, I don't want no beef. I apologize. No, I'm not uh, into right uh, mind. At that time, everybody was saying, ooh, J. Cole weak, boo, 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 boo. J. Cole is one smart man. J. Cole is one smart man. You know, because uh, a fan, just J. Cole is literally at the beach chilling. Not give a shit about any of this because he made a Bill Nye, the science guys, the science guy decision. Be smart. You don't get mixed up in this beef because K. Dot may have to order two coffin, one for Drake and one possibly for an unknown person. Not saying J. Cole because they didn't really battle battle, but I'm not saying names, not saying names, but that's fun, the, 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 the cool thing, because everyone and their mama was hating on J. Cole, you know, and J. Cole made a right decision, dude. He, he, he vanished like thousand bats, just fly to the beach and just chill there. Why? Because he is a smart man. As you get older, villagers, you're going to understand, sometimes you need your peace. You don't need dramas. You don't need uh, any of that negativity. You just want to be yourself, headphones, music, the beach, and that is life. That is life. I apologize, villagers, for talking so much, but I, my heart is beating. I have goosebumps, and I love this freaking song, Not Like Us. If you like this content, please feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'm having a blast making this video. But again, I appreciate you, villagers. Before I let you go, please take care of yourself, take care of your family, and most importantly, take care of your health. Until next time. Yee! They not like us. They not like us. They not like us.